Welcome to Ricky's. Rick, <laughs> Welcome to Ricky's Playhouse. Welcome to Ricky. I got it. Welcome to Risky Business, episode number three. We're going to deal with some mice problems today. Mice. Uh, I know we talked about that on uh, the last episode yeah. with Granger. Yeah, but um, we're sick of them. Sick of them. They're, they're actually moving stuff across the driveway. Yeah, There's ridiculous. so many of them. We, can't, we have to tie everything down. So we're going to cut some grass and get some stuff from around the buildings. Try to keep the grass low around the buildings so that it's just not, they don't want to be there. We need to be um, good neighbors anyway. Yeah. We're going to do some uh, work on some AC units. we got Ron uh, coming in. He's, uh, he's our... He's the go-to guy. Yep. He's our resident uh, get-on-the-roof guy um, and deal with these uh, air conditioning problems. And we've uh, we've been doing a little work on Earl's truck. So uh, over on Granger's channel, you're going to see that. Uh, yep. we, you'll Not see. a whole lot, but we've kind of got a few things we can get done. Enjoy the ride. Hang on. When these buses sit for so long on a farm next to a bunch of grass, you're going to end up with a bunch of mice. Yeah, a bunch. A bunch. I actually found on my bus a nest that had maybe six, seven babies in it um, that I had to clear out. It was pretty nasty. Uh, they'll find anything to make to, to make a bed out of, and uh, it was pretty gross. we got to figure out where they're at. Got to get them out. Got to get them out. Montana's dead again. What a turd. I'm gonna go over here and hook up this stupid, stupid, stupid charger up. See if I can't get it to jump off. 10 bucks says it's locked. Yeah. Always locked. Not no money. Wrong door. Ah! Attack. There she is. Dead as a bag of hammers. Oh, so glorious. So glorious. That hole in the floor. Let's 
set it to 15 amps. Let it charge up for a little while. I heard it click. I heard it click. Oh, yep, the green light's back on. Nope. Dead. Still dead. I'll give it a little while and see what happens. Raggledy. That's got to be replaced before we leave. Yeah. It's all so hot. So hot down here. Little devils. If I could zoom in far enough, I could show you the little devils jumping around out there with pitchforks. Yeah. Here's what it is. Texas. Here's a lesson in land management. If you're going to put a bunch of stuff out that's got to be weed eaten around, do it more than once a year. For crying out loud, this stuff was up on the concrete. We could just mow this. No. No, we had to put it out here where it's got to be weed eaten around. That's brilliant. It looks like the mice are just picking up the soap and dragging it around. Looks like it. And there's more poop in the corner. We gotta do the dryer sheets, man. See, there was two in there. <laughs> They're freaking eating the damn soap. Yeah, somebody actually said that. I'm wondering. I think Todd's eating it. <laughs> it could be. He's a, he's a soap connoisseur. Can you smell these? Yes. Oh, okay, I can't smell them. I think I got the Rona. Alright, Chris, what'd you do here? Got four, come here. <laughs> 42 coats. It's August. Gains. Chris. I'm going to give you a little tour of the farm and what we did. All these fields were uh, just baled, but along the fences, um, you can kind of see the color difference where I cut and where they baled it. All along the fence lines, away from the building as far away everything we could find so we cut all this grass back over by the buses cut all this here i cleared this fence line a little while back i gotta get those poles out yet yeah. got the range ready we're gonna do some shooting again on Saturday, we're gonna mow that we mowed this as well. So as you can see. We got most of it. Hopefully that solves our problem. And we cleaned up the gate nice. No more 
tall grass out of here. Did you have to pee us? I had to pee us. <laughs> Saturday morning at the farm. Got Ron just showing up. Gonna help me with some AC work. Got Butch out back at the firing range doing some shooting. And I think we're gonna get uh, some video today uh, working on Earl's truck. Um, I believe Granger's gonna be here a little bit later today and we're gonna knock that out. Same issue. <laughs> At least it peels off kind of nice. Just hold that in. <laughs> <laughs> I got to stand over here, huh? Uh, you know what? I'm going to move this to the back of the bus first. Okay. And then it'll probably be easier. What's up? How you doing, know, man? Good. How are you? Huh? Yeah, we got the one unit that from the bunk room that wasn't working. We, we pulled it out. We're just going to take the motherboard and the fan and put it in the new one because the compressors aren't compatible. Cool. Yeah. So we're gonna do that on your bus. Then we're gonna figure out if we can do the same on mine or if we gotta scavenge one from Freedom or whatever we gotta do. That thermostat, there's no, there's no way to power it. So we we have to, we have, they, they give you the new unit with a thermostat without the, like the, uh, the motherboard or whatever for the thermostat or the power source or anything and no wires come out of it or, or, or anything like that. So Dometic is just terrible. Uh, and what they do is they replace our model number with a new model number, say here's the thermostat, have at it. Well, we have five units on each one of these buses. And they're, and, and, they're totally different. Yeah, they're completely different. They run, uh, they communicate through phone line and they're like, well, this, this thermostat will work with your stuff, but it doesn't. And they're like, well, this is what we sell now. Sorry about your luck. And we have five on each bus that have to be converted. And that's where Ron comes in. Ron comes in and we buy new motherboards that have the phone line on them so that they can communicate. But then we run into problems where we're scavenging parts, things 
don't work exactly how they're supposed to because we're piecing together AC units. And it's always in August, July, when they crap out and then, you know, we don't have AC. Hitch a ride somewhere else, Jiminy. <laughs> Beat it, chump. So these are very similar. Still got the hole in the front. All right. Still got the, the that part where it spins through. It's just a little bit different, so we're gonna be able to use it. Uh, we're gonna take the motor and fans off, which already been scavenged and put on this one. Yeah, they're new. They're from this. <laughs> um, and Ron's gonna rewire that motherboard. And we should have a brand new AC unit. And then we gotta do wildflower. It'll be cold in there. Let's hope so. It's gonna be snow. Sick of the complaining. Sick of it. possibly go wrong. That's bouncy. That looks like gun barrel gray. Brand new. Brand spanking new equipment. Waiting on Granger, and it's getting awfully hot in this shop. We have uh, we have the drive shaft ready to go in. We sanded it down, painted it, got the U-joints in. And we also have the clutch linkage we're going to put on. And then we're going home. Yep. So, if Granger shows up, maybe he'll get some better footage. I think they knew something we didn't. You know, I know they did. Something else he done is he never turned the air conditioner on in his truck. Ever. And it, it can be 110 degrees outside. Never turn the air on and never roll the windows down. Ever. And he wore long sleeve shirts. By the end of the summer, every summer, there was rice growing in yeah. floorboards of his trucks. Yeah. And I can remember 
going down a turn road of one of the fields and being in there with him and I, I'm just sweat just pouring off of me. I'm like, let's roll the windows down. And he's like, no, no, don't do that. I'm like, it's so hot, why not roll the windows? He said, just wait. And we got there and opened the doors and it was so nice outside. Yep. You know Caleb does that now? Does he? He had, he had a long sleeve shirt on, uh, a regular sleeve shirt, two hoodies, and and then he's sitting there drinking energy drinks and i was like yeah. dude you gotta get some water in you and then he gets in his car windows up no ac drives all the way home to round rock and i said why do you do it he goes because then when i open my door it's like the coolest day ever yeah. it's 90 degrees outside but it, it feels like 60. it's amazing i'm like you do all that just to walk into your house <laughs> and think it's amazing i mean i i wear pants and boots and this shirt and everything every day uh, but not for that reason. I just do it because I get so dirty. On your channel, yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please do that. Please I need to subscribe to the Smiths. Do it now. The Smiths, the Granger channel. What else you got? The podcast. That's on the Granger channel. Oh, so it's just the two channels. Yeah, right now. Watch out for that new album. It's coming. September. It's coming. professional cameraman so i think we're gonna do a q a at my house uh while we drink a fridge full of beer yes yes we are if you want us to do a q a just drinking beer and a couple of lawn chairs in my garage yeah i can't and imagine it, anybody would want to watch us do anything but if you got questions ask them drop them in the comments or hit us up on twitter bull shipley butch Steeler. We'll see if we can get get that accomplished for y'all. Thanks for watching Risky Business. Yes, and please, all six of you, <laughs> thumbs up this video. <laughs> and the one guy that gave us a thumbs down, <laughs> <you>. <laughs>